Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Gold is trading at about 1574. We told you last week, we told you two weeks ago, gold is going to the moon. Gold is, some people say, is going gangbusters. We see the next real target for gold around 1705, 1710. We think gold is going to uh, not even settle back, but if it does settle back below 1730, we excuse me, around 1530, we change our forecast. But other than that, we see gold going up. The reasons for this are obvious. Even though the world is not ending, most people think it is. So as a consequence, there's a lot of fear buying of gold. But more importantly, the supply of gold, which is a commodity transaction, it's not a contract commodity, it's a, it's a physical commodity. The supply of gold is decreasing. The amount of gold available is going down. This is standard mining industry projections over the next four or five years. Secondly, demand is increasing. Aside from people buying coins, bars, widgets, and whatever in the form of gold, for safety purposes, the fact of the matter is that the physical demand for gold, taken together with investment demand for gold, means that the price of gold is structurally going to go up. So, we encourage you to realize that the best portfolio insurance you can have is to buy gold and buy rare earths, particularly Molly Corp and Linus Corp. So, we're urging you to aim for the ice flows, look at the trouble, but the world is not over. One of the things that's happened uh, since the last gigantic crash, which was a big issue, which was set up for two years before it actually took place, is every time something happens, People think the world is over. Moody's downgrades a minor country, a country with an economy smaller than the state of Connecticut. In some cases, an economy smaller than the state of Washington. And, though, and then we act as if the world is coming to an end. The fact of the matter is, as we look out over the next few years, assuming that uh, either political shenanigans come to an end and we actually get a debt limit raise and then go forward to some taxation and some spending changes, the United States is going to be the most attractive place to invest. Why are plane loads of South Americans coming up to South Florida to buy stuff? Why are plane loads of Europeans coming to the United States to buy apartment blocks, commercial properties, individual homes? The reason for that is those people know that regardless of the trouble in the larger world, the U.S. is going to be the best place to be. So, this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows not the open water. Have a super day and watch gold go up. Thanks.